uh, hi friends uh, this video is continuation video for my last video uh, which talks about the role of summary fields uh, on lookup relationship in salesforce so in my last video i explained about how we can uh, create a uh, field uh, called total uh, contacts revenue and which uh, uh, which calculates the sum of uh, uh, any currency field uh, in our example i have a field called uh, uh, expected revenue so it looks for all the contacts and uh, uh, sum the value and uh, pass it to the parent account uh, but but in my last video what i explained is uh, i mentioned that if uh, uh, if we delete the contact we have to go for a trigger uh, but uh, that is not the correct case uh, salesforce uh, from winter 21 uh, salesforce has given an option called before delete so we can create a new flow with the before delete action and um, uh, understand how that one will help us uh, to update the value on the uh, uh, on the parent account so let me go to the setup so this is my setup page I'm going to the flows and uh, I'm creating a new flow uh, with the name as uh, uh, and I'm selecting the flow type as record trigger flow and say next I'm going for the free form because uh, I tried with the auto layout but uh, I was facing some issues so I'm just going for the free form for now and uh, in this location we need to select when the when the flow has to execute so uh, in this example i am going to like we have to select the record is deleted option so our trigger has to execute whenever we are deleting, deleting the contact record so once i select the value i should say done uh, and uh, i need to select the object for our uh, action so i'm selecting the object as contact i'm not giving any conditions here and I just said done so after that, uh, as a first step, I need to get all the contact records. So I'm going to select the data type as get records and um, I'll, I'll label it as get all contacts. And uh, the object is going to be, uh, the object is going to be contact here. From here, we need to select the, we need to filter out which contacts we need to get. Uh, so uh, I'm going to select the account ID here and uh, for the value, uh, I'll select the record. From the record, I'm going to pick the accounts which are related to the, uh, uh, the contact that I'm going to delete. So this is the field, so I selected the field. Uh, and as a conditional option, I'm just uh, going to take all the contact records and I'm going to select all the fields uh, from the contact. And so once this is done, so I have the get contacts, uh, uh, which is required for my uh, uh, for my, my next steps. So, as, uh, so after that, I have to go for a loop uh, to loop to loop over all the contacts that I have. So here, I'll just name it as a looping contacts. The collection variable is the variable that we created previously and just say done. So I have the loop variable and then after that I am going to select the uh, the assignment value because uh, that is the place where we select which value that we have to update. So this assignment and I'll just name it as a uh, expected contacts revenue amount. And here we will create a new resource and the type is variable. And I'll just name it as a total amount. Has to be currency, and uh, I'm just going to be the two decimal places. And once I create the field, and uh, uh, as this is the role of summary process, and we are adding and subtracting the values, 
I'm going to add the values first, uh, which gives me the, the total value initially. So from here, I'm going to select the fields. Our field is expected revenue. So this step is completed. So I'll just link all these nodes first. Okay, so once this is done, uh, I'm going to take one more assignment, uh, which uh, this one will help me to uh, to reduce the uh, uh, to subtract the amount that I'm going to uh, I'm going to delete the contact. So here, let's say uh, I'll just name it as uh, uh, detect the total amount, and my field is going to be the existing field that variable the total amount and the operation subtract and the record that I am deleting so I'll just select the record from here and from here I'll select the field the expected revenue so this step helps us to take out the amount that we already added uh, so just said done so we have this node as well so as the next node, I'll select the update record. So this step helps us to update the account records whenever we're deleting the contact record. So here I'll just say update account. Specify the conditions. There I'm going to select the account object. And the criteria is going to be the ID field. So I'm looking for the account ID is equal to the records contact ID. So from here, you can set the record and we'll select the account ID. And finally, here we'll select the field that we are planning to update. So that is a total contact revenue. And our field is the total amount. And uh, once this is done, we save it and uh, we need to link this. So our flow is ready. I'm going to save this flow. I'll just give the name as update total contacts revenue. Save. So this is saved. Uh, Salesforce has a feature to debug the flows, but this is a record um, record flow, so we can't uh, uh, try this from here. So I'm just going to say activate first. So this flow is activated. I'm going back to the account. Uh, so this is my list view. You can see the total amount is $30,000. So as a first step, I'll add a new contact. So we'll just give a name as this one. And I'll use some expected amount as a thousand dollars and just save so when I save the contact you should see the value as fifty thousand dollars and if I go back to the one of the contacts and update the amount like that say this is I'm making it to fifteen thousand dollars and save so I should see the value as forty five thousand dollars so this is working fine so to test our flows, I'm going to delete this one. So when I sub when I delete this one, the amount should come down fifteen thousand dollars. So let's try this. Uh, just deleted. We'll go back to the account list. So as you can see here, the amount changed is thirty thousand. So this is the easiest way that uh, we can avoid the triggers or the coding process and just use the uh, flow, the Salesforce flow. Uh, to create any roll-up summary fields on the Salesforce side. Uh, and, uh, and I'll add the uh, previous video link under uh, uh, this video description. And once again, thank you all. And if you guys have any questions, you can add a comment to this video. Thank you.